Well, I would say for starters, I think the confusion is real. You know, I think this is a very confusing time to be alive. Um, I think confusion is encouraged. Um, you know, you see almost like a contagion-like aspect among children um, because, you know, the nature of childhood is being confused. That's what adults and moral authority are for. They are there to correct you when you are confused. That is what, you know, a, a civilized society's job is to create moral boundaries, guardrails that help clarify confusion, like when it's okay to do something and when it's not. Because, you know, the very nature of being a child is is you don't always know. Um, and so, and then you look at Hollywood and all the messages and the inputs that people are getting, even adults. And, and it, it goes even beyond that to just the, the overarching message that we are just pounded with all day long is you can do whatever you want and it doesn't matter, you know, the implications. Just you fulfill your desires, every desire, and, um, and you just do whatever you want. When in fact, um, in order for a free society to work, it, it relies on restraint. Um, and we've sort of abandoned that idea of, of restraint, of sexual restraint, of all kinds of restraints. Um, but I think that part of the problem is that, you know, starting with that just basic concept of, of, of restraint um, has, is, uh, we've, we're encouraged to basically give that up. Well, clearly we've gone from what they would argue was a straitjacket to supposedly ultra freedom, but that has turned into a different kind of straitjacket. Right. And we're then you're a slave to your forcing, passions. They're forcing a slave a straitjacket on us, and so, like I said, you can say you don't have a worldview, but you have a worldview. <laughs> okay. So.